Want to know the fastest way to edit YouTube videos? Let's be real, editing videos is a pain in the ass. So in today's video, I take you behind the scenes of my meeting with my editor and full stack marketer as well. Over on my channel, we use two different tools. We use Descript and we also use Happy Scribe. By the way, affiliate links will be below if you want to support my channel. But these tools have been really, really great at creating things like PDFs, transcripts, audio files as well. So this is one of the quickest ways that we use to edit over here. If you guys want a more detailed video, make sure to comment below. Let me know if you want a how to step-by-step -step video um, as well. But this should give you a very high level of how to use these tools. And I think they'll be super, super useful to you. All right, that's pretty much it. Make sure to watch the full video. If you want more marketing tips, more high ticket sales tips as well, or you just kind of want to learn how to build a personal brand so that you can escape your nine to five, uh, make sure to subscribe to this video. All right. Also, I'm working on a few cool tools over at youtubemarketingconsulting.com. I'm still building out the website. I am working on a few cool tools that will help elevate your game with your content marketing as well. So make sure to check that out. I'll talk to you guys later. Take care. Bye. So this is the script. I'm on a trial version. It's uh, 30 bucks per month, but uh, I think trial for now is okay. So because like a big part of the, the editing is the, the cutting of parts and like communication if this is okay. And I was just like thinking like, what would be like a fast way to, to improve the whole workflow? Because I was like doing this um, project for where I'm like gonna be cutting clips for him. Uh, from the collective calls and the lab and then turn them into ig videos and i was just like oh man like that's gonna be i mean i can go through like i have the patience and all that but i'm like you know i want to spend my time on other things but if i'm gonna make that process much faster how would i go about it so i thought of like uh like using the script so so i'm gonna talk to you today about two things one is like uh, how to repurpose bigger content and make it into shorter form with the script and then the other one is uh, shortening the cut, the trimming part uh, through Descript, and third is um, uh, communicating uh, via Descript, so uh, via comments. So let's check this out. So this is what you see. Uh, once you upload, drag the video over here, it will process. I think it was about 20 or 30 minutes on my end to process the video and then the transcription. And then after that, I can choose uh, who are talking. So I think that's pretty cool. So you can see over here, this is you. And this is oh, here. it knows. It knows who's talking. Yeah, and it knows like. But then I I'm gonna type in that like who's this speaker? Okay, and then I hear the voice, and then it's Kevin, and then the next speaker. Okay, I type in Brian Fung. Okay, then the next speaker, it's Paul Tran. So it was identifying different wavelengths, uh, different tones. So I think that's pretty cool, and we can I think that. I haven't figured it out yet, but I think we can also like take this out and make this as the, what do you call that for a podcast? Like the show notes, like show the notes, yeah. yeah. So I think that's pretty cool. So here's the, the part where it's about repurposing and like cutting, trimming, and then also like getting markers so that we know the questions. So here's the, like one of the questions I was looking for. And I, I just highlight that and I click over here and I can choose any color that I want, depending on what I want it to be. Uh, about so right now yellow is for like highlights of the questions so let's say i've like gathered like a lot of questions already what i want to do is go over here in the oh no, not there over here and then copy highlights and then once i copy that boom there's six sand highlights so those and then i just paste it in my document and then those are all of the questions that i can use uh for the for the show notes or for the timestamp, I can just refer over here, 415. Nice. So, but, but you know, it, once the whole, like, the whole video isn't, this is the raw video, but what I can do is that I'm gonna export it as a Final Cut profile. And since I know what time that is, I have like an idea where to find those files because it's not exactly 415, right? Because I'll be adding like the intro bumper, like the, your custom intro as well. So it's not unless we import the, the other videos over here. Import so. the, yeah, yeah. If you import the raw file and then uh, you go into Descript and all that, I get it. 
Yeah. So I think this script is nice for like just the trimming part and identifying the parts and identifying the like like how to go about it. What I yeah. So what, what so if you delete um quick question if you delete a word will it reflect in the clip too? So if I was like if I delete all if I control control F and deleted all the fucking ums and shit would it cut it all out on Final Cut? I see something cool. So let's remove filler words. Great. Boom. And then there you go. Um, us. There's 339 of them. <laughs> wow. Okay. I'm really bad, by the way, <laughs> with ums and us. Yeah. Don't worry, man. Um, I there you go. I'm saying um, it's it's okay to say those. It it's more natural, but you might just want to lessen it up because it. It gives you it it's it's like a signal for more. Oh, of course, I I get it. I'm I'm trying to work on it at the moment. Yeah. But so we have all the okay. So we can remove all those. So if I remove all those, will those reflect in Final Cut? Yes, they will. And the good thing is that they're they're like they're not really out of the picture already. They're like just trimmed. So if okay. I want them, back, I can do that. Now I want to share with you like what my experience with this is with Rich and he kind of complained about it because one, he said it didn't felt natural anymore because like that was the ums and ahs are gone. He was like going for like the interview, but for our video so far when I was like, like if it's just you talking, I think it's, I think it's okay to take them out. But for videos like this, I think it's okay to put the ums and ahs. And not well, we'll just, yeah, I think it's okay for the most part. As long as we have timestamps, I think that's the most important thing. So, yeah. Okay, cool. And so you talked to me about in the call, like there was a part where you didn't like because there was like rambling. So, I was, yeah. so you're like, okay, what's the fastest way for me to figure that out? So here I can just see the words. Oh, I, I, I don't know if this is it, right? So I'm just going to drag that and I'm going to, this is the timeline as well, so yeah. I can stretch. Oh, where's that? Uh, okay, so I'll stretch that. And, and then you see the wavelengths over here. Okay. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click delete. And then you see, boom, it's gone. <laughs> oh, shit. This is a game changer, bro. <laughs> so, yeah. okay, after you delete that shit, then what, ha like, ha how does it export? Does it export the, the video file or what does it do? Like go over here, export as a video. And then where is that? Does it keep the uh, same quality? Right. Yeah, it does. I, I want to use like, uh, where's yeah. So that's what I was like telling Rich, like this is, this is going to help us a lot. And, and so, yeah, I'm sharing this with you too. For, before, before video though, I was focused on the, what do you call this? The, um, the podcasting thing but then i'm just like you know what this is like the power of like collaboration online i'm trying to look for where's that export for final cut i think i think because this is um, a trial version I, I can't see it okay anyway last thing is like the the repurpose of the content let's say i like this part where you talk about like one piece i just want like 60 seconds of that and what i can do is right click over here and then click to composition and then click new. And then I go to the compositions. Oh, you can, and um, then, you can uh, content maximize or it. it'll go into a new composition and then clip that part. Is that what you're saying? That's right. Oh, so, shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, th there you go. Boom. That's the video. That's the clip. <laughs> All right, Daniel. Thanks for outsourcing yourself. You're, you're, you're done. I'm terminating your contract. I'm taking this now. Well, that's awesome, dude. I love it. That's great. That's so why at the beginning of this call, I, I told you like, oh, shit. I'm going to shit. But, you know, I figure, yeah, okay, there's, there's a lot of work to do. And I'm well, no, there's still a lot of work because I don't like doing this shit, dude. <laughs> like, you have to realize I hate doing this shit. But it makes things um, a lot easier for me then um, going forward. And I can actually produce more content and more valuable content, too, because a lot less time is spent editing, which is the bottleneck of my content. Right. And the component of like just streamlining the whole process. But, but the other thing is just like making comments over here. I can make a comment. Hey, do you want me to... Right. 
something here or something, you know. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty useful. So okay. um, what do you think of this? I think it's, I think this, I mean, I still have to go through it and I, I, a human being still needs to go through and like look at the important parts, right? Yeah. So that's the, the, the vital thing. Um, do you so, think the fulfillment hours are a lot more longer like through the Descript process than something like a manually editing? Like, do you think this is a lot quicker? Yeah, I think this is much quicker. So, Cause here I just have like click delete over here and then, okay, I'm done. <laughs> yeah. Like there's just three moves, right? For final cut, I have to like repeat, go back. Okay. Try to see it, try to listen. Okay. Again. There's a lot of redundancy, redundant, uh, redundancies. Yeah, because I can't see the words, and I'm just like, okay, what is happening here? Okay, so, okay. so I think that's what's it, what's really nice. And by the way, this is an a, like another thing in the future. So let's say you want to repurpose the content, like three different videos, right? And they talk about the same topic, but you want to put them in one video. So what you can do is just like cut them out and turn them into, the, put them in an existing composition. So okay. they're in one place. And what I'm like, thinking about doing is maybe a potential lead magnet or uh, some low ticket offer or some sort of tripwire uh, where I can just collaborate all those different ideas I've had throughout the years, see my top performing videos, create a tripwire, create a low ticket product for, or essentially a guide for a uh, new pharmacist or whatever, like whatever I'm going to do in the future. I think it's an easy way to create a, a lead magnet or, um, or a tripwire as well, or even like a outline for a full course. Yeah. I think, I think that's pretty doable because uh, like a lot of what you're saying, you know, it kind of feels like it's, you know, it's a paid product already. So I know I try to add as much fucking value as I can. <laughs> so there you go. Um, just lost my job. So <laughs> thanks. Thanks D script. <laughs> All right. That, that sounds really good. Um, I like that. You said, um, in terms of D script, how much is it per month at the moment? Uh, at the moment it's 30, 30 bucks. Oh, that's, is that for pro or just like regular or what's, what's the pay? Like what are the payment plans look like? Let me click this one. So if we pay annually, so it's 288 per year. Um, okay. you know what? So, so if it's monthly, it's gonna be like 30 bucks.